On August 21, 1995, Sudiru Parelia would open Crane Bank, a deviant from his business at Crane Forex Bureau that he had started and ran with his wife, Jotsinya. Then, Sudir personally owned 44.3% while his wife had 22% of the bank shares. The Sudir family, in effect, had 66.3% of Crane Bank. Following the coming into effect of the Financial Institutions Act in 2004 that required bank owners to trim their ownership of shares to 49%, Sudir, in subsequent years, according to court documents that we have seen so far, sold off shares to White Sapphire, a company registered in Mauritius and owned by Rasikal Kantaria. That company would then own 47.3% of the bank. Other shareholders were Jitendra Sangani with 4% and Sudir's immediate family that had 19.83%. In the court documents we have obtained, BOU plans to argue that all these shareholders were associates on whom he exercised ownership and control, essentially owning 100% of the bank. But what evidence are they bringing for this assertion? For Cantaria, Bank of Uganda alleges that the purchase of shares was 2.5 billion from the Anglo Universal Holdings Limited, which is associated to Sudir, and another 9 billion worth of shares from Sudir's brother in law and his wife was done with money from Crane Bank itself. In the document that NTV has in its possession, BOU says that on the 12th of August 2010, Crane Bank issued a loan to Premier Commodities Limited, which is a company that is owned by Godfrey Chirumira, a business associate of Sudir. The loan would then be credited on two accounts in the bank and channeled in three large sums to Cantaria's account in India. He deducted $50,000 and wired the money into his Ugandan-held account. He then paid this money to Sudir's wife and brother-in-law as payment for shares. The two transferred the money to Crane Forex Bureau and later credited it to Chirumira's company which refunded it to the bank in a record 12 days. In their suit, Bank of Uganda also says about $92 million was fraudulently extracted from the bank for a period of four years from 2013. This was done through off-book accounting. In one incident, Bank of Uganda lawyers allege that Crane Bank lent 9 billion shillings to a company that was called Infinity, which had no known address at its registration time and had only spent two months in active business. Bank of Uganda also alleges that Sudir as a director failed to remit over 52 billion shillings in remittances to National Social Security Fund. The Bank of Uganda also wants Sudir to return 48 land titles of branches in which Crane Bank was housed, arguing that they essentially belong to the bank. Sudir has been given 15 days to file a defense or opt for mediation. This is the first time that such a high-profile case is being handled in the Ugandan financial history. The suit is also a first indicator that Bank of Uganda has been conducting an investigative audit on the businessman Sudir. Raymond Mujini, NTV.